Hello guys, uh, today I am going to show you how to uh, model this form using FreeCAD. So first I will do in a simple base get and uh, is through this one in this direction and doing um, also a fillet in here to generate the base form and from there you can see uh, in these four corners the surface is moved from here but uh, slowly gets sharper and sharper when it goes up like this and this point is away from the surface a short distance and also uh, these uh, transition also smooth a tension smooth these transitions are getting sharper and sharper. Okay, so I start. In the part of bench, I will create a new sketch in the front view. And I will create a base blind. And I start up here. And I put the net, the next point in here, uh, the next point in the middle. Uh, the next point down here and the last point in here. As I'm down here, I select in this point and then this line and I hit C to snap it together. Select in this point and this point, I hit H for horizontal constraint. Come up here, I select in the point in the circle and select in the red line and hit C. In here, select in this point and this point. Hit H for horizontal. Okay. I select in this point and this point and the center line and hit S for symmetry constraint. Now I select in this point and hit D and set the distance to 180 and the distance from this point to the center line will be 80 the, dis the distance from this point to the center will be 70 okay now I select uh, the B supply and go to the mirror I click on the symmetry here and click on the green line. Now we have a new B supply. I click on the new B supply and move it to the left. And select in this point and this point. Hit C. This point and this point. Hit C. Now I hit S to activate the symmetry constraint and click on this point, this point and the center line. Doing the same in here. This point. Uh, make sure you select in the point inside the circle. And the center line. This point. This point. And the center line. Okay, now the sketch is fully constrained. I close. Now I will is true to uh, generate the base shape. So I go into uh, select in this sketch and go to is true. It's true this one forty. I control select in this edge and then this edge, and I go to the fillet. I fill at this one twenty. Now I just want to work with uh, these faces in the back. So I don't want to work with the front face. So I will control selecting uh, these faces in the back. Control selecting these faces. Okay, and don't select the front face. And I go to the curve workbench. And then I click on parametric solid to generate a new surface. I click on the fillet and I will hide it. The next step is um, I want to generate four lines at uh, these four corners 
And when I have these four lights, I will create another light 90 degree with the object pointing in this direction. And then I will use the plane curve to plane between these small lines with this light. So that I will have four curves and from there I will fill the surface in between and doing some smooth transition in here and sharp transition in here. So I go to the product workbench and creating a new sketch in the front view and I will create two lines like this. I select in this point, this point and the center line and I hit S to add a symmetry constraint. Then I select in this line and then this point and I hit C. This line and this point hit C. Then I uh, set the angle to 45. Okay, I make sure these four points are outside of the object. Then I close. Uh, next I will do an uh, extrude. I will extrude this one to 100. And symmetric. Okay. Then I can just select in the... Uh, the, sh the object and then the is true then I go to the prod split and then slide to compile okay the next step is um, I want to create a line like this and doing a, a plane curve to connect them like this and in here we have a smooth transition the G1 smooth transition and in here is uh, G0. I don't want uh, any transition in here. And after that, when I generate the shear phase, I will also can set the smooth transition in these, uh, the areas that I want. So I will create in a new sketch in the right view and I will create a line from left to right. The reason I create from left to right is that um, when I create a line from left to right like this, uh, this point will be my first point and this point will be my second point. Okay, so if I create a line from right to left, This point will be my first point, and this your point will be my, will be my second. So uh, when I create a blank curve with my line, the blank curve will go automatically go to the first point of the line. That's why I create the line from left to right. So if you don't care about that, you just of course you can set it in the data. I tell you that for you to aware when you create um, a line for plane curve. So I will set the distance from this point to the center uh, to 50 and then I close. Okay. Then I go to the surface workbench <coughs> uh, because I want to uh, edit for plane curves at the same time. So I choose uh, this edge will be my first edge. So I will select uh, this edge first all the time. I select uh, this edge first and then control select uh, this edge later and plane curve. Doing the same, select this one first, this one later, plane curve. This one first, this one later, Plane curve. This one first, this one later, plane curve. Now I sh shift to let these four and go to the first edge and set the continuity to zero because I don't want uh, any continuity in here. And, and the continuity for the second edge will be Z1 and just one G1 for that. 
Okay. Now I will fill the surface and I will start from here, here, and then here. And then I double click on this edge and then I go to the face and G1 for that. Accept. And then I click OK. I select in the surface and I will hide it. Come down here, build in the surface and select in these edges and double click on this edge and choose the face and G1. Then I hide this one, fill in. Selecting this first one, selecting the face and G1. Hide this one, fill in. Okay, in these two edges, I want G1 for them and click OK. Okay, now uh, I shift select these three and show it. So if I uh, go back to the sketch 002 and I change this one to, you can see, change this one to 60 and I go out, close. You can see how the surface change. You can go come to here and change this one to up to 80. Close. You can see. But uh, in this case, I just want it to go up a little bit. So I just go back here and change this one to 50. And I close. Next, I will hide the slide and sh show the solid inside the slide. Now I shift select these four and control select in the solid and go to the curve workbench and parameter solid. Okay, now I click on the solid and go to the view and deviation down to zero point zero one. Okay, so that's it for the tutorial. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.